Welcome to the Cultivation Podcast. I'm your host, Tom Hamill, and this is season six. We're talking about self-care, taking care of yourself, investing in yourself, and really becoming the best version of yourself and the steps that we need to do that. So I have an amazing guest with me today, and um, I'm just going to let you know straight up off the bat that uh, she is my personal trainer and coach. And, um, and I brought her on really just to say, I'm living it out loud. I need help. I need lots of help. So I'm her, uh, I wouldn't say biggest client. I'm her most needy client. And so I'm, let me just read some bio so that you know who she is and what we're talking about today and all of that. So Vanessa Suazo, uh, native of Southern California. That's where we're coming to you from right now. So shout out to the Philippines. I know you're watching. We got a huge audience there and India. India, thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. But she uh, grew up playing soccer, lots of sports, different activities. She's now a trainer at Fitness on Fire. Woohoo! There's a little plug right there for our gym. <laughs> um, anyways, she when she's not at the gym coaching, I'm gonna read this so I don't butcher it. She's climbing mountains. I've seen it on your social media, like whitewater rafting, doing all kinds of adventure stuff out there, running trials and a Spartan race. I, I don't see myself ever doing a Spartan race, just so you know that. Like, I've tried a few of those things. We can talk about that later. But uh, doing healthy recipes and uh, definitely loves dogs. I hear about the dogs all the time. Mm-hmm. In fact, um, at the gym, every time we start a class, it's like everybody loves everybody and everybody gets to know everybody. She literally said if she wasn't doing full-time fitness coaching, uh, she'd like to have a full-time dog petting <laughs> That would be that would be her job. Full time dog petting, right? That sort of thing. So, um, super passionate about people taking control of their health, and uh, that fitness will empower, make lives better in every area. And again, a pursuit of making people the best version of themselves. So, I hope I didn't butcher that, and you can interrupt me if I said anything. But thank you for being on the show. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, and that was excellent. And I'm really glad that you're paying attention during that. Everybody loves everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even that was that question was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. But it just stuck in my head. I don't know why. I don't remember all the questions. Yes. I remember most of them though. Yeah, that's an important one to remember though. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. what was your dream job? That sort of thing. Yeah. And so, I, I'm gonna lead with that question. Like, okay, so for real, when you were growing up, let's just say third, fourth, fifth grade, whatever. What what was your dream job? Um, I think at first, uh, I definitely went through a lot of different phases. One of them was being like a vet. I, mm-hmm. I really like animals and I've always had dogs, so I always thought that was gonna be part of my uh, my career. But then as I grew up, I have a lot of different passions. Like I really like creating content and writing. Um, so I was actually gonna do journalism and I actually went to school and I was studying communications. Okay. But then I completely just fell in love with like training and I just went a completely different way. Sure. Okay, so that's important because as we talk about, literally this season is all about Mm self-care. And I know a lot of people that are doing things that um, they hate it. They're miserable at it. They thought they were going to love it. They thought that was the pursuit of their life. So what was that journey like to go, hey, I'm going to shift that focus? Was it it immediate? Was it over a season? Was it just like uh, you fell into it accidentally and something woke up in you and you didn't even know it was there? What was that? like yeah I think um it was it seemed kind of immediate just because it, I changed my major in like one day and I just decided that I was gonna be a kinesiology major when mm-hmm. I was a communications major but um really it was something that I was passionate about for a long time and then it was just it just took other people to tell me or let me know that I was good at that kind of stuff because I was going to the gym all the time yeah. training my, my roommates training my friends and I was already taking classes that were not even part of my major, that yeah. were part of the kinesiology-like focus, just because they, they were interesting to me. And then I remember one one night, my friend was like, hey, why aren't you a personal trainer? Like, you're really good at this. I really enjoy working out with you. Like, I would not, like, come to the gym, and I would not know what to do if it wasn't for you. Um, and I was like, man, that's, that's an excellent idea. Yeah. And I feel like I'm pretty impulsive a lot of times in decision making like if something feels right to me like in that moment i just i just go for it like i i leave with my heart so sure i'm excited to announce to you today the launch of a new curriculum that we're doing as a follow-up to my book the life you're meant to lead 
It's 12 weeks on stepping into your purpose and how to take action steps and applications to leading yourself. We cover a lot of topics about dreaming, having the right mindset, surrounding yourself with the right people, lots of things. How do you get to it? You can go to our website, OurCultivatedLives.com, or click in the description of my bio below. So you bring up a couple of things that I say all the time about needing a coach and why it's important that we have other voices in our life where somebody else identified a gift, a talent, mm -hmm. a skill set that you had that you hadn't even thought of before. It took somebody else to kind of see that potential in you. And so uh, for everybody, I think I said this, Vanessa is my mm -hmm. fitness coach. We She trains me. And um, I'm not a very good client because I, I cry <laughs> about burpees every, every time, all the time, all the time. I'm like, I hate burpees, but I still try to do them. I am getting better. I'm getting stronger. So for like the last six months, you've had to like scream at me, which is like having to train a dog, the same kind of skill set. So you're still kind of working with animals, <laughs> but so when, okay, you thought about that, you fell in love with it. So now that you, you've been doing this for a while, your degree is in kinesiology What's the, what's the, um, wins, right? Like, what's the thing that you're just like, this is why I signed up to do this. I love it. Do you even have those moments, you know, where you're like, yes, that's, that's why I do what I do. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, our job is really fulfilling. Like we can be having a really bad day or something can be going bad at home, you know, but just going to the gym and having people show up even though they complain a lot, <laughs> even though you complain, like you're still there, right? You're still working to be better. And I think everybody has that desire to be better, uh, but sometimes they just don't have the direction. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to know that you can be that guide and yeah. you can help people find like that potential that they didn't know that they had. Um, yeah. I went on a trip this weekend which you didn't go with me on the trip, right? I went out of town. I did not. <laughs> I, yeah, you did not go with me. And and so I'm at the hotel and I'm trying to work out. I, and we've been like working together on me for a while. And I'm like, I, I hate this. Like I had to try to think of what I was supposed to do. And the one thing I will say, and, and I'm meaning this as a compliment to you, but like I did not work as hard by myself mm -hmm. as I do when we're in session together. And it, And I was like, this is why I have a coach because my coach pushes me to like things I wouldn't do maybe because I'm lazy or I just don't think I have it in me anyways. So I would say that I, every job has it's the things that you hate about it, right? Mm -hmm. There's the, whatever it is, the, you know, there's the suck. That's what I say <laughs> on the show all the time. Like there's the sucky part of every job and, and like, okay, we just got to get through it. Right. That sort of thing. But in your bio, that you sent, you said, and we haven't had this conversation mm -hmm. before. Like your mission really is to help people become the best version of themselves. Obviously you're using fitness kind of as your vehicle, mm -hmm. but when I see the people at the gym, the individuals there, there's all different kinds of body types. Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, some are really fit and muscular and maybe could be on the cover of a magazine. Some, some, look like I don't know if they are and I don't mean this in a judge you I mean like they look like they're showing up for the first time there's just all different kinds of types and one thing I really appreciate about the culture of our gym and why I keep coming back really I mean obviously you're, you're a great coach too but is that however you show up there's space for you because I'm not Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? you know what I'm saying? Not like yet. by not yet. Get me there. I'm in a competition right now where I'm like, <laughs> put me on the podium, Vanessa. Yeah. Anyway, so um, when you see people, what is it like, or how can you describe that moment where someone just kind of crosses over to, I don't think I can do this, to like, I can do this. I don't know how I don't know how else to articulate yeah. that, but like, what is that like, and how do you know when someone's reached their limit, or when you're like, give me a little bit more. Um, hard question, but I, I get what you're saying. I think, um, like you said, you need people on the outside to see. And um, at first, you know, I, you have to start pretty, pretty light with people. Like your first few sessions, right? They mm -hmm. weren't like crazy hard, or maybe they were. I don't know. But I, I died I, afterwards. Like we, <laughs> we, we turn it up a notch every time, yeah. right? And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh wow, like this is all of a sudden super hard. Um, so I think you just have to kind of get to know people and co a coaching relationship 
is a very unique relationship because like you kind of become friends but then you're also like your coach tells you what to do <laughs> so so i think like those first few sh- sessions are really important just to kind of get to know the person and you ask questions that are more personal mm-hmm. than maybe they would like but you understand like what gets them or like what motivates them and i think um to answer your question there's not necessarily like any one thing that tells mm-hmm. you that you're there but just because you believe so much in that person you know you know that they can do more sure yeah o- okay different line of questioning that yeah is, I'm like, <laughs> okay what, what is it and by the way the most personal question you ask is how's your diet i'm like don't ask that no no it's <laughs> <laughs> part I, of the job <laughs> have you been snacking anyways okay so how important is your own personal physical health to being a coach are those tied together and how do you balance between like I have to do this because it's fun or I have to do this because my clients are going to show up and they're going to see some flab on me if I don't mm-hmm. you know <laughs> do do this kind of thing like how important is that to you um I think it's a combination of the of both like I definitely believe in leading by example and mm-hmm. I would not ask you to do something that I wouldn't personally do plus it's like that's like my whole mission right my whole passion is to have people be healthier and fitter, be the fittest they can be. And if I'm not being that, then I can't ask that of anybody. Um, so it's definitely very, very important to me. And at the gym, actually, like what I love about our team is that we each like work with each other. Like I, I have a coach every every week that I meet with every week, and we go over goals. And other coaches meet with me, and we just kind of have this culture of everybody wins, everybody loves everybody. We all help each other mm-hmm. win, and we all just love fitness and want to win together yeah that's good um okay one of the questions that was asked in class so i'm gonna ask it now too is what's your favorite lower body workout wow (laughs) (laughs) my favorite lower body workout is a barbell hip thrust okay barbell hip thrust i'll answer mine this is not the answer i gave in class because i thought about it for like two days afterwards yeah um i i had said um i think i said uh squats yeah but that was a lie okay. it was 5 a.m so i didn't answer correctly uh, um but my i actually really enjoyed the hex bar deadlift yeah yeah that's, pr- that's really probably good, yeah. that's probably my favorite one okay. really so well maybe you have you hadn't started doing those when we asked the question oh yeah yeah this was just okay. like a week ago so okay. yeah I, we, oh, okay. we we had done those oh, but okay. i have i haven't done them in a while so <laughs> okay. i forgot about that i was okay. like i don't know you know some I, I hate being asked a question, being the first one. Like, I need some time to think about it or something. Like, I need the pre-workout stuff to kick in. <laughs> so, my, my stuff, stuff is working. Uh, let me ask you this question. This is totally personal, so you could be like, hey, that's too personal. But what is your next – What for you personally, what's your next goal? Like, what's the next thing that you're working towards? Is there a, is there a race? Is there an adventure? Is there a – what's your next goal? Where are you going? Yeah, like, as you know, I, I love adventure and I love competition. I do know that. Uh, <laughs> so there is a um, a race that has been on the back burner, and I was training for it before COVID, and then it just kind of got canceled. Everything just kind of went to hell, so I stopped training for it. It's a Spartan Ultra race. Um, okay, which for I'm, us novice, what does that mean? Yeah, the Spartan <laughs> Ultra race is a 31-mile race with, like, a, it's uh i think 30 obstacles so you do a loop that is about 13 miles and it has 30 obstacles and then you do it again plus some more <laughs> so it's a pretty long race and it's pretty gnarly and i was training for it i was like super diligent with like my runs mm-hmm. and and everything and then it, everything just the, the world just stopped so i wasn't gonna keep training that way if i didn't <laughs> know when sure the sure. race was gonna be so that's going to be my race this year. Like, that's my big event for the year, and that's going to be in November. Awesome. So. Is it, Where's that located? Where's that race at? Uh, it's going to be in Tejon Ranch. So it's oh, up, sure. like, by the five. Yeah, here in Southern California. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Perfect. Um, wow, I know that those things are super um, – I don't even really know how to describe it because I remember for me, one of my big goals was I hiked to the top of Half Dome. Okay. And when I got there, I was like – I can't believe I just did this. And it was like, it was a, it was an emotional experience. It was a powerful, um, personal, just goal kind of a thing. So I'll be cheering you on for that for sure. And then 
I'll be asking you to do burpees with me to train for that. I'm like, if I got to do, and I'm going to tell you this too, because I asked you how old you were off camera. I'm not going to say that here, (laughs) whatever, but but like my, I just had my birthday. I turned 42 and I intentionally did not go to the gym on my birthday so that I didn't have to do or make the whole class do 42 burpees. I was like, nope, not going to do it. I'm busy that morning. (laughs) Is total crock. I'm, wow. Who's busy at six a.m. Right. I'm hurt. So, <laughs> I was like, cancel Wait, class. When was that? Yeah, it was a little bit a while ago. Yeah. Oh my god. I totally, I totally just did not come on that day because I was like, nope, not gonna do it. Anyways, so I gotta keep it in my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's past now, so it'll be a whole year. But yeah. Anyways, um, I, that's how much I hate burpees. I, I literally, because I haven't missed a class, so, um. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, that has nothing to do with anything whatsoever. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, um, now I ask you some personal questions. Now, now is a special segment that doesn't exist on any other episode because you're the only personal coach I've had on the show. Oh, yeah. I've had other oh, people that are coaches, but they're not my coach. So um, this is a segment that we're going to call What's Up With That, Tom? Okay, <laughs> um, maybe, maybe we'll get the guys to put a graphic up there because I'm making that up right now. In case anybody's listening, going, what is happening with this episode? <laughs> but tell me, what is, um, we'll start with the positive. What is the best part about being my coach? <laughs> okay. I was not prepared for this. I okay. know you were. I did, pre- I did not prep her at all. So I have no idea what's coming, but they've taken their finger off the edit button. So whatever it is, it is, right? So um, I think my favorite part about working with you, Tom, is that you are very disciplined and you're always there on time and you ask questions and you like want to do things the right way there's a lot of people who come and they're like oh i don't know what to do I'm, the coach isn't around and whatever it's gonna do whatever but you're like you you like want to get things done right and i really appreciate that oh that's my achiever side <laughs> one of my problems is i like these glasses aren't for looks i literally can't see the board so i'm like walking up there again like, what's next what's next oh it's, it says burpees erase that anyways okay <laughs> Uh, what is, what is the, and this is just for the audience, right? This is just for the audience. What is the most difficult thing about being my coach? Like, what is your, like, if he talks one more time. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Oh my God. There's nothing. Everything is great about you. (laughs) She's like, I'm not going to say that. That's way too dangerous. (laughs) But the truth is, I'm I'm not the perfect client. I always try to be the favorite, but not no, the I perfect. Think I would. I'm not, I'm not just saying this because you're on my podcast, <laughs> but you're you're a really great client, and yeah. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna say the same thing, asking a lot of questions. Oh uh, yeah, um, exactly. Like, yeah. Okay, here I, it comes Tom asking more questions. Yeah, here he comes one more time asking a question. So one time, okay, okay, just for anybody that's listening or watching. So when when I'm in a session with Vanessa. It's not just one on one. There's usually like three other people. So there's four of us, and she's floating between the the four of us, making sure that we're you know not miscounting and we're doing it right and we're doing it blah blah blah. So one time she snuck off and was helping another client. Snuck off. <laughs> snuck off. Yeah, because I'm super needy like that. And I opened her phone. She had left it on the little stand, oh. and I took a <laughs> selfie with her phone. And this was like super early on. I'm like, we're about to press the limits right here because. <laughs> I was like, and this is like the third time I was meeting with her, and I'm like, oh, I took a selfie. And it was like three days later. She's like, what the heck? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so one last thing for our audience, and then we'll call it a wrap, and it'll be great. But what is, for anybody that's listening, for anybody that's watching, you, again, your mission, your passion is for people to become the best version of themselves. You do that through fitness, mm-hmm. which you are a great coach. I really appreciate it. I, I am seeing results. More importantly, my wife is seeing results. But... um. <laughs> <laughs> that's another episode. Okay. So, but here's, here's the things for anybody that's watching, listening, what are just some things where someone can take care of themselves, invest in themselves that you would say, Hey, if you can't do anything, I would just encourage you to do this so that they can go on that journey of really becoming, where do they get started? What should they do? What, what, what would you tell people and encourage them? Yeah, well, I would tell people to start with the ba- basics, definitely. I think sometimes we are not into fitness or not healthy or we didn't grow up in the, like, I didn't grow up like, that way either, right? So we try to go for, like, the fanciest program where, like, you see someone 
like a really ripped like bodybuilder online selling their six week transformation <laughs> program and you're like oh yeah I'm gonna do that um, and it's just not gonna work out for you because you don't have those habits that they have like they've been doing that for, for forever right sure. so I think like the basics are just you know sleep drink water eat real food so if we can change those things and you can get a good routine going there then we can start throwing some of the the fancy workouts in. Sure, the fancy workouts, burpees. The burpees. <laughs> um, okay. The birthday burpees. Yeah, birthday burpees. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's, it's torture. <laughs> like, I didn't choose this day. Anyways, okay. <laughs> um, okay, uh, no more questions except for that. Um, thanks for being on the show. Really appreciate it. It's been fun. It's been way unscripted. <laughs> <laughs> way. But, but you've been great. Um, you're going, you're training for the super Spartan ultra ultra Spartan ridiculousness race, that sort of thing. So how can we follow you? How can we see? Cause I know that on your social media, on your Instagram specifically, you post like recipes, workout routines, um, some of the th adventures that you're doing. So how, pictures. yeah, a lot, a lot of pictures. So <laughs> how can we follow you? How can we find you? How do you want us to look yeah. you up? Uh, Instagram would be where I'm the most active and that's the, like for Vanessa underscore strong underscore that's so the strong yeah awesome thanks again for being on the show thanks for listening thanks for watching and uh, we want to hear your story hopefully you have a coach in your life that's speaking to you holding you accountable and we want to just know how are you going with that journey also would love for you to pick up the book the life you're meant to lead you can get that on amazon or on our website our cultivated and uh, again Interact with us. Tell us what you think. Look us up. We're on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, where else are we at? We're on um, Pinterest. Yeah. Anyways, find us there at Tom Hamill. And um, again, we'd love to connect with you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the cultivation journey with us. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. Be sure to hit the like button as well as make your comments in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you and journey with you. Also hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all the other incredible content we have coming at you.